in Qing TV dramas, you definitely have a chance to see different imperial dishes and desserts. Those food looks very delicious, because in historical documents, there wasn't any record about the taste of imperial food. So let's use our imagination. If we are invited by the emperor to eat imperial food, which score we will give to those food? In my opinion. I will give imperial dishes seven. In Qing Dynasty, the emperor only ate two formal meals. They generally ate breakfast between six a.m. to eight a.m. and ate formal dinner between one p.m. to three p.m. Generally, the emperor ate over forty dishes per meals. And the imperial cooks dare not to let the emperor to wait for hours. To provide food on time, imperial cooks cooked all dishes and keep them warm on ovens. In my opinion, during this process, those dishes lost a part of their flavor. If you love seafood. Qing imperial dishes will hardly get you favor, because Qing emperors rarely ate seafood. First, because Beijing was far away from ocean, in ancient time, there wasn't effective transportation system to send seafood to Beijing. Secondly, Qing royal families were Manchuria people. When they lived in Shenyang, they didn't like fish very much. After they moved to Beijing, they kept this habit. Besides, imperial cook never cook special food for the emperor, because special means this kind of food couldn't regularly get. Once the emperor loved this special food, and asked the imperial cook to cook it, no one could be sure that they can satisfy the emperor every time. To avoid having trouble, the imperial cooks just didn't provide specials at all. Expect the imperial cooks, imperial doctors. Also developed some dishes, but imperial doctors' goal was providing healthy food, so the emperor could live longer. Thank you for watching this short video.